So today I'm going to be filming a current favourites video and today I'm going to be showing you multiple things that have been my favourites, kind of self-explanatory. But... So if you haven't already noticed, I'm actually using a different camera. So the camera that I am using is a Nikon D5100 and I was using a Lumix. This camera is a lot bigger than my old camera that I was using, which was a lot grainy when I tried to zoom in. I don't actually know if I'm focused, <laughs> which knowing my luck, I probably am not focused at all. But this is my first time using it in the video section. Another thing that I want to point out is that I am getting a MacBook Air and I'm so, so excited. Not today, but I'm getting it in the next couple days on Sunday, I presume, after I umpire a game. I'm so excited <laughs> because now I have such a good quality camera and now I'm going to have such a good laptop to edit. And I'm going to be using iMovie and just life is going to be great. <laughs> and another thing that I want to point out is... This is going to be the last one, I promise, is that my social media, I changed my usernames on Twitter and Instagram to Michaela Jade 218 So they both have the same usernames now, so it doesn't like confuse anyone, not that it really confused anyone except for me, because it infused the crap out of me like when I would log out and I'd be like, now, which one's the username? So if you want to go follow me on those, I will have them in the description and yeah. So let's pretty much just get straight into this video. So the first thing that I want to point out is my Designer Brands Bombshell Perfume. I love this perfume. I did a whole perfume review and I just love this perfume. It smells amazing, it's affordable, it's vegan and cruelty free. Like it's just all in all a good product and I would recommend this to anyone to go just go in and smell it or just purchase it. It's only like $15 in. But it comes to a perfume, $15, that's cheap. That's like really, really cheap. The next product is a powder bronzer, a loose mineral bronzer. It is from Inica. This is the loose mineral bronzer in Sunkissed. I absolutely love this bronzer so much. I'm using it right now. You probably can't tell in the camera, but I am using it. It has a red undertone, so if you're not into that type of bronzer, then don't go for this. And it does have a tiny, tiny bit of shimmer. So if you're not into that, then don't go for it. They do have other shades that are more like warm toned and less red so or orangey so if you want to look into those it is quite expensive this brand I'm pretty sure this is a trial size so it's not the full size but it's lasted me ages I still have tons of product left over and I would recommend this to anyone who wants to try it out and look for a more vegan cruelty free natural organic brand then I would definitely recommend Inica the next product is a body wash and it is my original source vanilla and raspberry shower wash and it is vegan and cruelty free. It's just amazing. I actually have the exact same flavour in my bathroom right now. I'm pretty sure I have all of the scents in my bathroom although I'm using this one. I just have a double off of this one that's why it doesn't look like it's been used. I'm nearly out of that one and so I'm probably going to use this one afterwards but it smells literally amazing. <laughs> it just smells so good. And it has a 100% natural fragrance and apparently it has 82 sunrises help make moisturising vanilla and raspberry. So it really does have the real actual like plant in this body wash which is what you don't normally see on commercial ones or commercial selling body lotions and body washes. You don't actually see like plant based ingredients. So it's actually nice that there is natural ingredients in here. And it's made in the UK and it has a recyclable bottle. So all in all, this is a good product. And it's around like $4 where I live, so it's not that expensive like at all. <laughs> the next product is kind of a food favourite, but it's not food. It is my High Living Licorice Organic Herb Infusion Caffeine Free Tea. This has 15 bags in it. It's USDA Organic and it's Soil Association Organic. Organic soil, I don't know. But the ingredients are licorice root, fennel, cinnamon, orange peel, lemon peel, ginger and cloves. So extremely organic natural ingredients. So that's what the tea bag looks like. It has really, really good ingredients in there. What I do is that I boil water, add coconut oil and coconut sugar, and I put that in with the tea bag and let it soak for about two minutes. And then I either add water or soy milk. When I run out of soy milk, that's when I use water. Like this morning, I used water and that exact tea bag. I also have multiple different higher living teas. Like I have a coconut one, I got a chai one, I got 
they go all over the place. So I would definitely recommend looking for a more natural tea, um, whether that be Higher Living or any other tea brand. I've been absolutely loving my tea recently, not just that licorice one, but all of them. <laughs> now the next product is a food favourite, it is my Macro Black Chia Seeds. These are very crucial. These are a very crucial part of my diet. I wouldn't die if I didn't have them, but like, they really do make me feel my best and I do notice a big difference when I consume these. So they're extremely high in healthy fats, they have a very high source of fibre and they contain a ton of antioxidants. So I literally add this to my salads, my rice, my pasta, literally anything that I eat for dinner or even lunch, I will add this. Actually, I had breakfast before and I had rice for breakfast and I added these. So these can be quite high in price. They're around $10 or 9 per serving. They have 9.9 .9 grams of fat. And in my honest opinion, I think people worry about fat way too much. The next product is a coconut sugar that I mentioned before with my tea. It is my Pacific Organic Certified Organic Coconut Sugar with no artificial colours or flavourings. And it is... Sorry, I keep yawning cane sugar substitute and a low glycemic index. So not only is this not an empty calorie source like cane sugar is, it has a source of iron, magnesium and zinc in this sugar. This is Australian certified organic and it is a product of Sri Lanka. So if you're that Australian that only buys Australian products then probably don't go for this and try and find a different coconut sugar substitute or just sugar substitute in general that's Australian made and known. But this is all that I have at my grocery store. It's about $5 and it tastes literally amazing with like anything. Like I cooked rice the other day and I put my, I put coconut sugar in the rice cooker with the water and the rice. And the rice just soaked up the sugar and it just tasted nice. I didn't add too much but it did add that little extra like sweetness. So that pretty much concludes this video. If you want to see more videos like this make sure you let me know. And once again, I really hope you like this like camera quality. Don't forget to like and subscribe and comment on this video if you want to see more videos like this. Anyway, that concludes this video and I'm going to go now. Bye.